guys, it's Sagittarius Soul Tarot. I'm going to do different reading for you guys. It's going to be for the rest of April for all 12 signs. Okay, so I'm going to do Aries to Pisces of what is going on for everybody, okay? And I'm going to do timestamps down below. It's going to be for tomorrow starting Saturday the 17th to the 30th of April. So 4.17 to 4.30. And I'm going to do kind of what is going on for you guys. I'm going to do Zodiac, kind of where your energy is going to be at, who you're dealing with. Uh, messages, the tarot, all that good stuff. See what is coming in for everybody for the next, you know, two week, two-ish weeks. Okay, so like this weekend going into next weekend and then almost next week, weekend after that. So, okay, so I'm going to start with Aries. I'm going to go ahead and start at 0.50. Okay, so Aries, let's see kind of what is going on for you guys. I'm going to start off with where you guys are at, where you guys are going to be at the next couple of weeks, okay? And don't mind me, my voice is kind of, you know, not doing so great. So if I start coughing, don't mind. Okay. Okay, so we have two cards. We have forgiveness and abundance. Okay, so it's like the next couple of weeks you guys are going to be wanting a lot of abundance, a lot of happiness, a lot of growth. But in order to do that, you're going to have to have forgiveness. Okay, whether that's with somebody else or with you. Okay, on the bottom of the deck, we have envy in the reverse. It's like trying to be sorry for things that happened. Okay, trying to not... If you ever were envious of somebody, like envious of somebody, it's like you're trying to reverse that and not be in that, you know, mindset anymore. So let's go ahead and do Aries. Let's go ahead and see the sea and salt energy where you guys are going to be at the 17th to the 30th. So I'm liking your guys' energy so far. It's a very, you know, apologetic energy is what I'm seeing. So let's go ahead and see where you guys are going to be at. Okay, so we have the sunrise, a time of spiritual awakening or rebirth. Okay, so definitely a sense of own awakening, wanting forgiveness, wanting change in your life. Okay, is what I'm seeing. Let's go ahead and get a moonology for Aries. Get a moonology, see where you guys are going to be at. Okay, we have a couple here. You are good enough. Okay, full moon in Virgo. The answers you need are coming, full moon in Gemini. And then take time to breathe out, okay? So take time to breathe. Like, you are good enough. Don't stress yourself out. And the answers you are, like, wanting are coming for you soon, okay? So maybe anywhere from the 17th to the 30th, if there are answers you've been wanting to know about, there are just things coming for you, okay? Or the answers you are wanting to know are going to happen, okay? All right. Let's see what else is going on for Aries the next couple of weeks. Okay, emotion, oh, I can't talk. emotional withdrawal. So, a sense of feeling kind of alone or having to walk away from something. Okay, the crown chakra in reverse. Okay, a sense of not wanting to kind of think about things too heavily. Alright, as well as movement, choices, decisions in the reverse. Okay, try not to get yourself stuck. Okay, financial material changes under that. Imbalance, okay? So I see like a lot of good things are coming for you guys. You guys are trying to recenter yourself. Okay, let's go ahead and see. All right, millennial stuff. What is going on for Aries? Like millennial problems. Okay, so what's going on? So like millennial stuff. Like what's gonna happen? Okay, yeah, I was trying to catch it with my arm, but I missed. Okay, Roxy, come on. Don't. It's not food. Okay, it's a card. Alright, this dog is so fat. She thinks everything I throw on the ground is food. It's like, no, it's just plastic or whatever. Okay, so side hustle. Okay, so you guys are wanting to get it, maybe extra income the next couple of weeks. Wanting to bring in that cash, okay? So however that may be, if you guys want to have some kind of side job, maybe, you know, add, like, I feel like it's not, like, more at your, uh, the, okay, the income you're getting now, I don't think it's going to be that. I think you're going to have some kind of side job you're wanting to work at, okay, or some side business, as well as maybe there's a sense of losing your chill towards other people or you feel like you're working too hard and you're kind of not able to control yourself. Okay, something maybe is kind of... In the next couple of weeks, you might be finding something out that's very, like, off guard to you or surprising. Okay, we also have by Felicia. <laughs> so leaving and not care. There's a situation, like, you're done with and you're just ready to move on from. Okay. Let's go ahead and get the romance cards. Let's see what is going on, like, romantically in the next couple of weeks for Aries. Let's see, guys. Okay, so healing family issues in the reverse. And then free yourself in the reverse. Okay, children in the reverse. What is going on? It's safe for you to love. Okay, so it's like you're not wanting to focus on situations here is what I'm seeing. Okay, maybe you feel like there's nothing to fix here. 
And we have new love and unrequited love in the reverse. So there's somebody here that you have chemistry with is what I'm seeing, but you're kind of afraid to love. Okay, maybe after a time of healing yourself, okay, it's like now you don't want to free yourself from love. You want to be open to it, okay? Let's see some Zodiac stuff. I got all the cards in here this time. I finally got planets and stuff in there. So let's see what's going on for Aries. Quite a bit in here. What's going on? Quite a bit. So I want to get at least a couple. God, maybe. I got too many coming out. See what's going on. Some of these aren't used to being shuffled because I never shuffle the planets. Okay, so we got the planet of Venus. Okay, which that is, I'm pretty sure. I wrote this all down, okay? Venus is ruled by Taurus and Libra. So you could be dealing with a Taurus or a Libra or the sense of, you know, wanting to have, you know, love and harmony. Okay, like I said, I feel like you want to have forgiveness with somebody. Okay, we also have air. So Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Yeah, that Libra here by Venus. Okay, fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We got Mercury on the bottom, which that's all about communication, some Virgo or Gemini. So, air energy, we have fire energy, a little bit of earth here. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the tarot, see what's going to happen in the next couple of weeks for you guys. Okay, so you guys could be having communication in regards to love, okay? A lot of communication in regards to love or just in general, you know, wanting to talk to somebody, you know, asking for forgiveness for something, Okay. And that's, you know, on you guys, whatever you need forgiveness for. <clears throat> Let's just see a general, like, you know, outlook of what's going on for Aries. The next couple of weeks, so the 17th to the 30th, what is happening for Aries? This is going to be kind of a long video, guys, so I'm sorry in advance. But I will have it all, you know, time stamped. Okay, so what is going on? Okay, we got the Six of Swords reverse, Queen of Wands, the Moon reverse, Seven of Wands, Five of Wands, King of Cups, King of Wands overall. A sense of not able to move forward because you're very passionate about something. Okay, but there's something you're trying to fight for. I feel like there's a lot of competition, maybe with another fire sign here. Okay, someone that you're very determined to win back or be with. Okay, someone you definitely have a lot of feelings for and a lot of passion for. But there's something about you know, a lot of, uh, like, jealousy or pettiness or something here. So, let's see. Let's clarify. So, the Six of Swords reverse has a Knight of Pentacles reverse and the Three of Cups. Okay, with the Ten of Swords. Something hurtful is happening. Okay, you could feel like somebody's not coming towards you, okay? Like, maybe you feel like somebody else is kind of seeing other people and not speaking to you. Okay, there's a sense of feeling like that. Like, there's a sense of wanting to come together with somebody, but you feel like they're not moving towards you anymore. Okay, because there's a lot of pain here. Let's get the Queen of Wands. Okay, the Sun in Reverse. Yeah, and the Hermit. Somebody that you've maybe taken time away from, but it's like you're very unhappy because you're very passionate about this person. It could be a Virgo or a Leo. Okay, the Page of Pentacles Reverse. But you feel like this person's not offering you anything, or they're not coming towards you. Maybe they're even distancing themselves from you. And there's like a time this person's trying to be away from you and there's a lot of unhappiness. Okay, because I feel like there's a person here that you care for. Or have a lot of passion for, a lot of, you know, feelings for. The moon in reverse could be a cancer you're dealing with. There's a lot of things coming revealed, okay? With the knight of swords, quick communication with the fortune reverse. About something that's just not like destined to be, okay? Like you're getting a lot of communication about something that's not meant to happen. You have the page of cups reverse and the five of cups. So I feel like... It could be a water sign you're dealing with or in love in general. But somebody's just, like, not wanting to offer you something anymore is what I'm seeing. Okay, I'm not trying to be, like, negative, but I feel like in regards to love, somebody's kind of not wanting to offer you something. Okay, and it's like they're feeling sad about it, but there's just, with the Ten of Cups reverse. But they realize, like, you guys, maybe the timing's not right or you guys aren't meant to be. Okay. Let's get the Seven of Wands here. Something you're still fighting for. I feel like you're still fighting for something. Okay, with the Five of Swords reverse and the Queen of Pentacles. Something you've invested your time into, okay? But you feel you just want there to be clarity and the truth here. Okay, about this disconnect, okay? Because maybe there's a disconnect with you and this person and you want there to be love. Okay, you want there to be love coming in with you and this person. You know, you want a new beginning maybe. Okay, I feel like you're still willing to focus on it and fight for it. It's a sad thing here. Let's get the Five of Wands for Aries. Okay, the Double reverse and the Ten of Swords. So it's almost like you're fighting for, I feel like, a person. You feel like this person's letting you go. 
if it was like a toxic, you know, situation or toxic relationship, very karmic, you feel as if this person, it's like they're letting you go, not really into this anymore. Could be with a Capricorn, yeah, because you feel like this person just isn't successful. They see kind of how things are, and they're not willing to bring justice to the situation. Okay, and I feel like that's very painful for you. You feel like, okay, well, I'm fighting for this person that obviously doesn't want me. Okay, that's what it is. We're fighting for something that somebody doesn't want to have the control over anymore. And I feel like you have a lot of emotions for this person. Yeah, with the King of Cups. We also have the Nine of Swords. Full in reverse in the Tower. A lot of things change with you and this person. Okay, it could be an Aries or a Scorpio. But a lot of things have changed. Like you feel like there's never going to be this new beginning with you and this person. Like, it's just never going to happen. Things are just different between you guys. Okay? But I feel like after that, the Four of Cups reverse, the Nine of Cups reverse, it's like you're wanting to be with this person, but you don't see, like, where things are headed in the future. Okay? So just take what resonates. But something strongly to do with love here. Whereas, like, there's somebody you kind of realize, you know, you really care for, but it's almost a sense that they're kind of just, like, the timing was off or it's just not meant to be. Okay? Um, <laughs> sorry guys. Let's go ahead and do Taurus. Okay. Okay, Taurus at 11.15. What is going on with Taurus? The next, you know, two weeks, the 17th to the 30th. What is going on? The rest of April, what's going on for Taurus? Okay, so we have fear. Okay, why are you guys scared? Because then we have honesty. Like, your fear of the truth coming out about something. Maybe somebody you're not in love with. Okay. Maybe you're fearing of, like, telling somebody that you're just not in love with them anymore. Okay, or you just don't have... You want to be honest and tell them, like, hey, I just don't love you anymore. I just don't want to be with you anymore. But it's like it's scaring you. So let's see. We have a couple of cards here. So we have Island. Find strength and solitude. Taking a distance from somebody. Finding out where you belong. With moonlight. A pause for a moment. Okay, so you feel like something's just kind of a pause or a tower moment here. And then sailboat. Learn to sail with grace. Do not fight. Okay, so maybe there's somebody you want to be honest with, <coughs> but you're afraid to tell them how you feel because you're scared that that's going to really hurt this person. Okay, then we have the fish in the bottom. Find balance. Okay, but you feel like you want to have balance with this person. But in order to do that, you have to be honest. And it's like maybe you're scared to tell the person the truth that you're just not in love with them anymore or you don't see love in them. Or like you just don't feel like you could love them. Okay. There could be anybody in your life, okay? So what we have is time to take action, new moon and Aries. So maybe you're dealing with an Aries, because Aries kind of just had a reading like this. Where they're wanting to be with somebody, and the person's like, eh, not really interested anymore, you know? So, yeah, communication is key. New moon and Gemini, which we are going to be in Gemini season after Taurus. So, okay, so maybe, like, around that time, you're just going to tell the person, hey, you know, going into May, like, maybe towards the end of May, it might be extended, but something about, you know, Gemini here. It could be a Gemini or have heavy Gemini placements. Okay, something about, like, not wanting. Okay, yeah, but temptation. Okay, stand your ground in the reverse. For some reason, this person's very addicting. Someone you're dealing with is very addicting, or they have a hold over you in some way. It could be a Capricorn, but it's like you're afraid to stand up for this person. But spiritual union in the reverse. Yeah, I feel like you don't really have this connection anymore, but this person has, like, some kind of hold over you. Okay, because we have rejoice and celebration. It's like you have to be kind of in terms with this person for some reason. Throat chakra, all about talking, triumph to have, you know, further movement, success. Okay. Let's go ahead and get millennial. See what's going on with, like, millennial stuff. Okay, receipts, needing answers, being kind of doubtful of things, okay? So you could be kind of doubtful of stuff going on the next couple of weeks. Okay, we also have draking. So, relationship struggles are ended, missing somebody, emotional, depressed, sad. Like I said, you could be upset about somebody. Maybe somebody's even being honest, telling you they're not, like, in love with you. Maybe you're scared this person's not in love with you, whoever you're dealing with. Maybe you're f afraid, okay? But then there's a sense of you trying to be savage and act like you don't care and be confident in yourself. But there's a sense of almost being, like, scared. Like, okay, well, does this person care about me? Do they want to be with me? Especially if you guys are seeing new people, you're kind of, like, fearing, like, what is going on you know, fear of the unknown, you know? So let's go ahead and see love stuff for Taurus. Okay, engagement in the reverse and reconciliation. Okay, also we have worth waiting for. So you could have been reconciling with somebody from your past here. Somebody you weren't, like, thinking about having a commitment with. Okay, it's safe for you to love. Could be a new person is what I'm seeing, too. Okay. 
So I feel like it's something you've been waiting for, some kind of reconciliation. If it hasn't, if this has already happened, then, you know, just take what resonates, okay? But I feel like you are going to have some kind of reconciliation. Okay, let's go ahead and see signs or planets. See what, ooh, maybe. So what's going on for Taurus next couple of weeks? What signs or planets are going to be affecting them? Maybe. If I can get any to come out. Okay, I'll just pull some. Okay, so the moon sign. So that could be Cancer here. Okay, we got Gemini. Like I said, there was a Gemini card that was in here. Virgo. Okay, something to do with Mercury, I feel like. Okay, Jupiter. So it could be Pisces or Sagittarius. Okay, or Saturn on the other side. So it could be Pisces or Sagittarius. Then we got Gemini, Virgo. So that's like Mercury. And then something to do with communication. And like I said, communication is key. So something to do with um, communication here. Okay, and then Saturn's all about being stable and, you know, having things kind of equal balance. And then Moon's kind of like things being revealed, okay? Well, actually, when the Moon's in reverse, that's when things get revealed. But there's something you're kind of concealing or somebody else is kind of not really being honest about. So I would be kind of blurry on that. So when the Moon showed, showed up, it could be either a Cancer you're dealing with or the sense of someone not being completely honest about something. Okay, or feel like they're kind of hiding something from you. So just be kind of cautious, guys. Okay, let's go ahead and get into the tarot. Get a six card spread for Taurus, just general, but love usually comes out. Okay, I'm just going to be real. Okay, I know I try to do just general, so it's for anything, but usually I do love, okay? So, if you guys don't want to hear about love, I'm sorry. You can always take what resonates, so make it where it's general. So, let's see what is going on for Taurus. Three of Cups reverse, Five of Swords reverse, King of Wands, Moon reverse, there's that Moon card. Ace of Pentacles, Nine of Wands reverse, King of Cups overall, Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so there's a sense of like not wanting to come together with somebody here. Somebody that you know the truth about. It's, I feel there's a lot about truth and clarity on something. Okay, <clears throat> maybe you're opening up and telling somebody the truth. <coughs> but I feel like there's somebody who you're very passionate about. And you are going to have like maybe a new cycle with somebody. Something very stable and long term with Ace of Pentacles. And it's like you're very passionate with them. It could be like a fire sign or an earth sign. Okay, but I feel like a lot of secrets are coming out. Could be dealing with a cancer here. So you only got cancer. I got air, I got fire, and earth, and water. Let's get one more shuffle. We'll see what's going on with you guys. I'm in like a really fun mood. I don't know why. So I seem energetic. That's why. Three of Cups reversed. Okay, with the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands reverse. Two of Cups reverse of justice. Um... There's a sense of not wanting to be with somebody here. Or a sense of something not happening, like not reconciling with somebody because of somebody else you're very passionate about. But you're not really sure how that other person feels about you. Okay, and I feel like there's a soulmate disconnect, okay? So there could be three people and you chose, maybe it's even like two other fire signs you're dealing with, Taurus. Okay, maybe you're dealing with like a very masculine fire sign and a very feminine fire sign. But it's like one of them you're kind of choosing to go with choosing somebody and it's like one you have a disconnect with and one you want to have like fairness with okay all right let's do the five of swords reverse okay five of swords and the three of swords i feel like you found out something that somebody was lying to you about okay four of swords reverse but you're trying to figure out whether or not you should give someone a second chance okay somebody could have been even something to do with maybe like third party too somebody could have been like hiding something from you and you found it out like a bad way you found out in a really like crappy way that somebody's been hiding something from you and it could have been like from a third party influence like somebody else and it broke your heart it's like man why didn't this person tell me this to my face instead of lying and hiding things you know because then we have the four of swords reverse it's like you're trying to take time to think about what to do whether or not to give someone a second chance because i got the ace of pentacles reverse after that king of wands Okay, Queen of Swords, Two of Swords, Reverse. The Empress. There's somebody here that you're very strong, feel very strongly about, but you need to just kind of cut to the chase, like tell them how things are. Okay, it's like you see things clearly and you need to be very practical and logical and make sure you're, you're making the right decision. Because we have the Empress and the hair fence. Somebody that you're wanting to work on and have some level of, like, you know, commitment with or even something more like growth, okay? Even if it's not a commitment, you want to see where things go and it could be... A potential like candidate to be married to or you know committed to but it's kind of the sense of you know making sure that you know you guys are on the same page you're very passionate about each other but it's like want to make sure you're on the same page okay but the moon reverse let's see some secrets coming out okay nine of Pentacles reverse and the six of Pentacles reverse 
So maybe, like, you're finding out that this person's only, you know, that they're not given to, like, other people. They're just given to you. Okay? Or they're get, or they're taking more from you, okay? Because maybe they're not able to give any to their self. With the hermit here and the judgment. It's like you're having to kind of take a time yeah, away from this person. Yeah. It's on his feet. <laughs> Anyways. Um, something to do with, like, stability. Maybe you find out this person's not as stable as they come off to be. They come off like they're independent and they take care of themselves, but maybe they're not. They're struggling, okay? And this person maybe needs your help. Maybe they need some money from you or they need stability. Somewhere to live. That could be it. Ace of Pentacles. Okay, with the full reverse and the double reverse. Somebody that you're not wanting to have a new start with. There's somebody here. I feel like there's definitely like two people you're involved with. Okay, the page of swords reverse. This person you're not talking to. There's somebody that you're trying to not have a new beginning with because you just feel like you don't want the temptation or the, you know, it could be an Aries or a Capricorn. You just don't want the ties to this person. Okay? With the page of swords reverse. It's like you're not talking to them. You're still kind of keeping tabs on them in a way. But it's like you want something stable to take off. And in order for something new, like, stable to take off, you have to release these people, okay? Or release at least this energy they bring off. Like a very, you know, immature, you know, obsessive energy. Okay? Because I feel like you want to be loved here with the King of Cups. But the Three of Wands reverse, you're not going to wait forever. Okay? For this commitment. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Okay, Nine of Wands reverse for Taurus. Let's see. Okay, the Hermit again in the Knight of Swords. Seven of Wands. A sense of wanting, you know, fast communication, but also the sense where you can process it, too, and kind of figure out more lessons. Or wanting to open up with your other person and kind of see deep down where they're at. Okay, so you can kind of, like, quickly get to talk to each other about kind of where this is going so you can process it. Okay, a sense of wanting to process something with somebody and open up. Maybe to have, like, a new beginning. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and do Gemini. 22. Yeah. That's cute. Okay, Gemini, let's go ahead and see where you guys are going to be at the 17th to the 30th. Okay. okay, worry in the reverse. Sorry about him screaming. I have the TV on. I don't know why he's screaming so loud. Worry in the reverse. There's things that you feel like are taking control of, okay? Acceptance, yeah, it's like you're accepting things for how they are, okay, even if it's like a judgment in the reverse, it's like you're kind of just accepting, like, okay, this just wasn't meant to be, okay, something you're just not worried about anymore, you're just kind of rolling off your shoulders, you're like, okay, I accept how things are, I'm not worried about it, and then obviously it wasn't meant to be, maybe this person wasn't of service to me, or I couldn't help them in some way, okay, so there's a person maybe you can't help in some way, in regards to, however, like, financially, maybe they're on drugs, some of that here is, like, you realize, okay, I can't worry about this anymore, I can't help this person, or the situation, it's not gonna go anywhere, I don't know why I'm getting, like, somebody on drugs, or somebody, like, homeless, you're like, okay, well, you built that yourself, you know, not to be rude, but it's like, okay, like, you realize there's somebody here that just keeps you know, that repetitive person doing the same thing over and over and asking for help, asking for assistance. And you're like, you know, what? I can't worry about this anymore. So I don't know if it's like a sibling or a family member. I don't know. Okay, we have the seahorse. Follow your intuition, okay? Like I said, don't be worried about a situation you can't control. Okay, driftwood. Now is the time to be fixated. Practice flexibility. Be more flexible in your life. Let down your guard. Who? What are you protecting yourself from? Okay, or what are you protecting others from? Maybe let down that, you know, not be protecting of other people anymore. I don't know why I'm getting that, like an energy of somebody you've been trying to protect for a long time, and finally you're just like, you know what, this is causing me too much stress, I can't deal with this, too much on the back of my shoulders, I just need to let this person go. Let them sink or swim is what I'm seeing. I know it sounds terrible. Okay, when, when outcome is in forecast, full moon and Libra. Okay, you could be dealing with a Libra, or it's just like eventually, I'm not going to worry about this, this situation's going to settle itself. Okay, what do you need to... I'm not trying to laugh, but it's like everything I'm saying is that like the next card comes out. So what do you need to release? Like, somebody you need to release here. Don't let pride get in your way. So, like, don't let pride get in your way. Don't make you feel like you can't let somebody go. I don't know whether it's a sense of letting somebody go, getting rid of somebody that's toxic, somebody that just takes from you instead of gives, okay? I feel like, you know, you guys are very caring, and you guys probably get, you know, taken advantage of. So let's go ahead and see. Okay, move <laughs> I'm not trying to laugh, but it's like moving on. Okay, like moving on to different things. Universe in the reverse. So that's like 
the world in reverse. Cycles you need to release and end. It's like you're still dealing with cycles in your life, whether it be people, relationships, however. It's something you need to move on from. Transformation in the reverse, because it's making it where you can't transform. Okay, whatever the situation is, burden is in your life, it's help. It's not helping you, it's hurting you more. It's making it where you can't, you know, transform, making you feel like you're losing, you know, control of yourself, losing wisdom, not seeing yourself for who you are. Okay, discontent and boredom, being bored with yourself because you're just like, I can't. Maybe this person's even taken from you financially. Okay, let's get more into it because I'm kind of curious. So what else is going on? This is a really weird reading. Like, I feel like, like I'm talking to a lot of people here. Okay, so we have influencers. So trying to like influence other people, helping them. Maybe that's kind of your job. Okay. Okay, somebody that's being shady, something untrustworthy. Okay, that could be happening. Um, putting someone on hold. Okay, so maybe like I said, you need to put somebody on hold because you just don't understand. Like, okay, well, this person's not going anywhere in life. I need to just kind of get them out of my, you know, energy. Okay, there's also something to do with, like, feeling judged by other people, okay? Or, like, casual sexual activity could be a factor. Cute. And then humble. So, um, so kind of almost, like, be humble here the next couple of weeks. Don't be, like, real obnoxious with how you, you know, talk about things. <coughs> Alright, let's see where your guys' love is going to be. This is a really weird reading. So, if you guys resonate, please let me know down below. Because that's, this is weird. I don't know. Okay, express your love and let your friends help you. Let's get one more. And we got two more. Okay, oh, actually, we got a couple. Make the effort. Reconciliation in the reverse, worth waiting for in the reverse engagement. Okay, so maybe you feel like somebody's, like, taken away from your shine here. Like, maybe you're supposed to get married soon, okay? But it's like you feel like there's somebody here, like, you're going to get engaged or married and someone's, like, outdoing you or taking away your shine because you're too worried about somebody else. That's kind of what I'm getting. Like, maybe you guys are going to get married soon. You know, and it's like, you're just like, well, I can't be worried about this person. Okay, so we got Pluto. So I think that rules Scorpio. Yeah, transformation, rebirth. Like, you guys need a rebirth. Okay, we got Aquarius. That rules Saturn. Okay, justice, stability, being reliable. Leo, that's the sun here. And we got Earth. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And then Mars. Which, let me see. In my little handy-dandy book. Okay, Mars is ruled by Aries. So, passion, anger, separation. So, yeah, you feel like there's some kind of anguish, okay, maybe going on with somebody. And then we got Saturn after that, which we had Aquarius. So, let's get into the tarot and see what's going on, because I'm kind of curious. Something about feeling like someone's taking away your shine. <coughs> someone's, like, you're constantly having to take care of it. It's like you're kind of just sick of dealing with it. Hold on, buddy. Okay, let me just get the spread, and I'll get it for you. So, let's see what's going on with Gemini the next 13 days or whatever. This is weird. I mean, like, I don't usually get weird readings like this, and when I do, it's, like, something that needs to be said. Because usually when it's kind of, like, resonates like this, it's weird. It's like it has to be said. So, let's see. Ace of Cups reverse. Knight of Swords reverse. Page of Wands. Five of Wands. Seven of Wands. Six of Pentacles reverse. Four of Pentacles. All about kind of wanting to focus on yourself and your money. Not giving to other people anymore is what I'm seeing. One second, guys. Okay. Okay, show me. Here. That's cool looking. I like that. That's not really scary. Okay, sorry to get my kid a second or third popsicle today. So, a situation where something's not really opening up. Something about, like, not wanting... Getting, not, like, communicating to somebody anymore, opening up yourself anymore. And there's a lot of, like, fighting, a lot of pettiness, a lot of drama. Okay, something you're fighting for here, or you're fighting against somebody. I don't want to get, like, a really stressful energy here. And it's like you're trying to, like, move on with your life and see what, like, ignites you with the Page of wine. See what, like, your passion is. But there's still a lot of, like, you know, tough energy. Let's get the Ace of Cups reversed. Okay, Nine of Cups reversed, and I... Nine of Cups reverse, Knight of Cups reverse. A sense of just, like, not letting love into your life currently or not being able to feel fulfilled in some way. Okay, with the Ace of Pentacles reverse, feeling stuck. Okay, there's no hopeful beginning. Maybe it's like you have to rely on other people and you're scared. Okay? So, take that where that resonates. Let's get the Knight of Swords reversed. So, something about, like, communication just not coming as quickly as you want. So, 
Ace of Pentacles reversed. Maybe the job offer you wanted isn't coming as quick as you wanted. Nine of Wands, and you're scared. You're kind of just like sitting there, you know, shaking in your boots. Like, oh my gosh, am I going to get this job? I haven't heard back. I Something about, ugh, something about like applying for a job, went to the interview, maybe even had three interviews. And you're like, oh my God, am I going to... Am I going to get this job? You're freaking out. You're just like, oh, God. With the star, maybe it's a job that you really wanted. Okay? And it's like maybe even, like, quit your other job, okay, to, like, work here. And you're just like, crap, what's going on? All right, let's get the page of wands. Something you're exploring or looking for. Okay, two of wands reversed and the knight of wands reversed. <coughs> I think you're patiently waiting for things to come your way. After a time of being stuck, it's like you're wanting to not be stuck anymore, but you're wanting... Things to move slow, though. You don't want things to be very impulsive and quick. Okay, King of Pentacles reversed. Maybe you're kind of dragging your feet, not even really going towards something. But you're still learning or observing. All right, what's this Five of Wands all about for Gemini? Let's see. Okay, the Fool in reverse and the Page of Pentacles. So it could be a sense you deal with an Aries but, or an Earth sign, but it's something about a new beginning, and it's like you're kind of fighting against it or not wanting it. <coughs> Okay? Well, there could be somebody offering you something, but other people want that as well. And it's like you're having to fight for something. Maybe that other people want. <coughs> Maybe you don't even want this either, and you're just fighting for the heck of it. Okay, well, let's go ahead and do the Seven of Wands. Okay, so the Judgment and the King of Wands. Something you're, you're having to kind of think about. Okay, because you're very passionate about it. And it could be a reconciliation or somebody from your past coming back, but something you're very passionate about and you have a lot of love for as well and you finally see clearly how things are and want communication okay so there could be somebody coming back around you're very passionate about all right let's do the six of pentacles reverse there's a sense you don't want to give to somebody anymore okay it could be the person i was talking about in the beginning somebody you just don't want to give to yeah six of cups somebody from your past like i said i feel like it was a past person or someone from your childhood a family member nine of swords reverse you're sick of being worried about them and stressing about them Eight of Cups reverse, but in the world reverse. There's a sense you just can't move on from this person. Somehow they have emotional attachment to you. Okay, and it's like you can't move on. Could be like a loved one, somehow like a family member, a cousin, you know, good friends. There's somebody you have to help, and it's like you constantly have to help this person. Okay, somebody from your past you've known for a long time. All right, so let's go ahead and do Cancer. That's a really weird energy. So it's, it's almost like kind of got me like cold chills. Because I'll do that. Readings, like, that seem like that. Then it's, like, people tell me in the comments, like, oh, that resonated so much. And I'm like, God, I hope not. You know, like, I do, but I don't. You know, I don't want it to be crappy for people, that kind of reading. Okay, Cancer. That's not beer. It's, v it's V8. <laughs> so, I know it was, like, the side view of the can. It looked silver. Like, it was, like, I was drinking a Budweiser or something. I'm not. It's, it's V8. All right. Got to get those veggies in. All right. What's going on for Cancer the 17th to the 30th? Empathy. Okay, and it came out like in the upright. So be more empathetic, seeing both sides of situations. And that's what the card said too. Yeah, have growth, okay, with forgiveness in the reverse, imagination. So there's already somebody you forgive, okay, or somebody that you've, you're wanting to forgive but they don't forgive you. Okay, but there is growth here. You're wanting to have growth in some way. Let's see where you guys are going to be at. Like, what kind of creature or animal, what are you going to be like the next, you know, 13 days or whatever? Let's see. Creature or animal. I don't even know. Sea creature, whatever the heck these are. Sea salt energy. Okay. So we have the sailboat. So, like, don't fight the wind. Learn to sail. Like, moving on. Like, you want to move on with your life. Have growth is what I'm seeing. Have success. Okay, have sunken shit. Maybe you feel like things have been very bad for you very dark okay like I said then after that the starfish you've been kind of afraid to trust people okay but your past doesn't have to define your future is what it says so just because you've been hurt in the past means that there's room for growth or improvement you know don't let your past hold you back is what I'm seeing so let's see let's get a monology card for cancer energy is gaining momentum a time to give then to take new moon in Virgo Okay, be bold, make the first move. Could be with a Virgo or just the fact that you're having a lot of momentum and energy to give to somebody. Okay, then to take. Maybe somebody you used to take from or somebody that you weren't really giving like your whole 
self to you weren't giving your a lot of your time and effort to now it's like you're kind of opening up like seeing like where they're coming from okay especially somebody you've hurt maybe you kind of realize where they're coming from yeah with the base chakra it's like you kind of like your root of like your core deep down like how you feel like where you are you know could be don't uh i think that's like a fire sign or an earth crown chakra a lot of things come to the surface mentally okay as well yeah mental conflict a lot of back and forth not seeing things clearly but trying to find your spiritual strength after a time of like darkness is what i see because we got light in reverse so after a time of being like upset and darkness you're trying to get past that with emotional strength you had to choose wisely though maybe a lot of options or a lot of things to choose from Ooh, let's knock that over all right let's do the millennial so ghosted you could feel like someone's ghosting you okay either you or them somebody you feel like you don't have closure with that you deserve closure with okay and there's something you're trying to like feel complete with okay something you want to perfect okay we also have no chill so acting rational no regards to others feelings overreacting it could be a situation you're overreacting with because you feel like you got ghosted and you're like feeling like okay well, this wasn't supposed to go this way okay also like something very emotional okay something like you're missing somebody feeling depressed or sad and then like something you see evidence or need proof on okay so speaking of that let's go ahead and see like romantically what's happening for cancer the next 13 days 17th to the 30th okay so love yourself first in the reverse past life relationship dealing with somebody from your past or somebody that you've known for a while soulmate in the reverse passion in the reverse engagement okay so sense of wanting to be on a higher commitment with them but not really sure if this is the one for you or if you guys are meant to be together maybe even feel like someone's losing like passion for you because i had like the sad card and stuff come out okay we have taurus virgo capricorn we got pluto which is scorpio or transformations let's see okay we got venus which is uh, taurus and libra okay let's see on the bottom okay mars which that is aries passion okay having passion for somebody and then we got Uranus. Okay. Which you're, and then Sagittarius after that. So Uranus is. Huh. I don't think I wrote Uranus down. Shoot. Okay, we'll have to go through that. But I'll have to search that later. But yeah, if you guys know who Uranus is ruled by, because I don't see who it's ruled by. But then we got Sagittarius after that. <coughs> I don't know why I forgot Uranus. Okay. So let's go ahead and do the tarot and see what else is going on for cancer. But I feel like there's a lot of like conflict, a lot of things you want to fix. Okay, maybe you feel like you don't have enough time, so there's a lot of things you want to fix with, you know, a connection or with somebody, but you feel like you don't have enough time or like things are kind of like not going the way you want them to. Okay. Let's go ahead and get two more shuffles. See what's going on with cancer the next 13 days. So what's going on with Cancer the next 13 days? Six card spread, please. Six of Cups. Okay, two of Cups reverse. Page of Pentacles reverse. Moon reverse. Eight of Swords reverse. Ace of Pentacles, the Devil here. Seven of Cups reverse. Okay, getting in like an understanding about a situation that's kind of toxic. Somebody you could be dealing with from your past here, someone you've known for a long time. Uh, there's a disconnect with like a soulmate connection. Uh, a lot of things come into the surface. Something you're not willing to invest into anymore. Because you want something new to happen. Is what I'm seeing. You want to be released out of a, a mental prison or a mental state. Okay. So let's go ahead and get two more shuffles. Something about a past person here. Okay. It could be a cancer, a water sign. We got earth and we got air. So. Alright. So let's get into it. Okay. So six of cups. Okay, Queen of Pentacles reverse and the Three of Swords. Could be like an ending with somebody that you had. Somebody that you feel like you're not appreciated by. Or somebody that just doesn't make you feel appreciated. Or worthy of anything. Maybe this person makes you feel like you're not good enough in some way. Somebody you've been dealing with for a long time. Okay, the Knight of Pentacles reverse, Eight of Cups. You kind of realize this isn't going anywhere with a situation. So you realize you just need to kind of walk away. Alright, let's see the Two of Cups reverse. 
Okay, the Magician and the Eight of Wands. It's like you're still kind of willing to fight for this is what I'm seeing. Or you feel like you have, like from this disconnect to this connection, you feel like you're the one that can bind it back together. Like if you were the one to put in the work and the communication and the effort, like it's almost like you feel like you kind of are empowered to this person by some way. Like you feel like you're in control of the situation. Okay, yeah, Knight of Swords, like all it takes is one message and then boom, they're back in your life. The Hermit, after a time of feeling isolated, trying to get the right thing to do with the Four of Swords reversed. Okay, so something here you're trying to mend back together, maybe a lost connection. All right, let's get the Page of Pentacles reversed. Five of Wands and the Emperor reversed. You feel like it's a situation where there's a lot of like jealousy or you know competing. <coughs> Sorry, guys. <coughs> but um, almost like you feel like somebody, you and this person, maybe both aren't really putting in the work for this anymore, and there's a lot of competition towards this. But I feel like there's a lot of love here. But someone's not offering the love or someone's avoiding to offer this, okay? There's a sense of it could be an Aries you're dealing with or another a fire sign, an Aries, or, another, or an earth sign here. But there's a sense of someone being kind of immature, kind of childish, not really wanting to work on this. And then there's also maybe your energy too of like you're not really wanting to work on this either. You're kind of just like, or kind of feel like you're defeated or given up. Maybe you've done everything you could. Maybe like you've communicated to this person enough. I can also see maybe you're starting to get angry, too, about something. Because maybe you have a lot of love for somebody, but you feel like it's not being reciprocated. Okay, let's get the moon in reverse. What is being hidden from Cancer? Let's see. Like, what's going to be revealed? Okay, the hangman in reverse and the strength. Why somebody is, like, you know, trying to hold back from this, but they're also not able to. Okay, it could be a Leo or a Pisces here. I got judgment reverse. Ten of Wands. Maybe this person feels like things are... They just need to kind of control their self when it comes to you. Let like they get to a realization, I just need to hold back from cancer. I need to just hold back and not give to this anymore. It's just too much. Okay? It is swords reversed. A sense of wanting to get out of your head, though, or get, like, unstuck from something. King of Cups and the Four of Cups. <coughs> I'm going to see the energy of just, you know, letting your heart take you where you are. Not being stuck or contained anymore. Okay, this is actually kind of sad, actually. I'm not trying to be upsetting, but I feel like you're finally, like, maybe you're afraid to express your emotions to somebody, and you're finally letting go. You are this person, but somebody's, like, willing to show their love to somebody, and the other person's like, okay, I don't want this anymore. Because then there's the Four of Pentacles, I feel like you're still holding on. And you're, like, an emotional wreck about this person. It could be a Sagittarius you're dealing with, because you're all over the place emotionally, and you want to offer them love. Okay, you should see them as their wish fulfillment. I just feel like I can keep going on and on about this, but it's just, like... It's like kind of like you're like putting in the work. And it's like this person or whoever, somebody's like not wanting this. And it's like they're expressing their love finally after so long of being. I feel like it's you though, because it's like you're reading. So after a time of, you know, you know, being like, kind of like held back from how you feel to this person, now you're telling them how you feel. And now it's kind of like, all right, does this person don't want me now? Or what's going on? Ace of Pentacles. I do see some new stable start here. Two of Wands and the Two of Cups. It's like after a time of you know, being stuck, okay, maybe this person had, you or them, somebody had to choose somebody else, but there definitely is a soulmate connection here, on the bottom, I have the page of swords reversed, five of pentacles, maybe somebody had to not talk to somebody else anymore, okay, maybe somebody had to, in order for this to start up, somebody had to drop communication from somebody and not talk to them, and walk away from something else or somebody else, you or the person you're dealing with, this could be whoever, okay, so kind of a tough week, Cancer, but... Or a tough couple of weeks. But hang in there. Things will be okay. Alright, let's go into Leo. At... Four, man, this is a long video. 43.35. Okay. Alright, so Leo, where are you guys at the next 13 days? Like, next two weeks, whatever. Basically, it's two weeks because I'm filming it today. But it's for, you know. Okay, so friendship in the reverse. Doubt in the reverse. Almost kind of like you're just maybe you're dropping like relationships with people like friendships because you're kind of like I want to have my happiness. Okay, maybe you feel like they're taking a like an emotional unhealthy tool on your life. Okay, and it's like there's something you're not doubting anymore. Like you don't want to doubt friendships anymore, or there's a sense of somebody you thought was your friend. You're kind of like okay, you're not my friend anymore. Like I don't trust you. Kind of weird energy. I don't know. I don't know why I'm getting, like, the Mean Girls, like, in my head. I don't know. Like, the movie Mean Girls. Like, you can't sit with that. Okay, I don't know why I'm getting that. But anyways, so the dolphin. Embrace your inner child. Oh, my gosh. And then 
that movie came out when I was a kid, so it's kind of funny. So embrace your inner child. Maybe you guys are kind of having a goofy couple of weeks, just having fun, embracing life. People that don't, maybe like the friends that don't understand you, you're dropping them. Like, okay, if you can't have fun and have a good time, then I don't want anything to do with you. Okay, find serenity in the uncertain. So do not fear the unknown. Okay? So, let's go ahead. I don't know why I was doing like mean girls. Maybe you guys are want to have like a girls night or guys night and have fun and be around cool younger people and then just drop the friends that don't seem like fun anymore. I mean, nothing wrong with like not being fun, but... Work through your fears, new moon and Scorpio. Okay, we also have balanced spirituality and practicality, full moon and Pisces. A lot of water energy, okay? <coughs> so, something about work through your fears. Okay, just have fun. Don't be scared. Like, embrace your inner child here. Um, if there's, like, friendships that, like, don't make you feel good, like, just let them go. Okay? Choose wisely. Like, choose wisely the, the crowd of people you're around is what I'm seeing. Okay, we have accelerated motion, which is good. Harmony and material harvest. A lot of prosperity coming, a lot of a good balance, maybe relationship coming in, a lot of things going quickly. Okay, try um uh trapped in fear in the reverse. Like letting things go, emotional loss in the reverse. I feel like you guys just don't give a shit anymore. <laughs> if I'm gonna be completely honest, I feel like you guys are like, Okay, I'm just gonna drop whoever. Doesn't make me feel at balance, don't make me feel at peace. Okay, so let's get millennial cards. Okay, so we have bougie. Feeling yourself, okay? Upscaling your life. Okay, do anything when you over... So you could be having somebody coming in that's very... You know, that cares about you and wants to treat you good. A guy or a woman, either way. But somebody that wants to, tr you know, make you feel good. Yeah, bae, before anyone else. So I see a lot of love coming, a very strong connection. Okay, but also sipping tea. Be careful who you listen to. Okay, so there might be gossip. Okay, you guys also might be having a side job, which Aries had that too. So maybe all the fire signs are going to have like a side job or work real hard. Okay, to have side money. Alright, let's see what's going on with you guys relationship-wise the next 13 days. <coughs> Getting to know each other in the reverse. Religious factor. Somebody you already know. Wedding in the reverse. Okay, keep an open mind though. Let go of control issues, chemistry. So somebody you, you have here that you've known for a while, but it's like you guys aren't really in the point of your relationship or whatever to be married or talk about weddings or commitment. But maybe it's like still a, like a newer relationship. Okay, let's see what signs or planets are, uh, you know, in your energy the next two weeks. We got Virgo. So we got like Mercury energy. Okay, maybe like I said, like you're focusing on your diet. We got Cancer. Okay, we also got Venus. So Venus, that is Taurus and Libra. On the bottom, we got Mars. So that's Aries again. Okay, so then we got Sagittarius under that. A lot of fire energy. Okay, so we got Cancer. We got the moon here. So we got Cancer. We got Venus. We got Vir Virgo. So we got like Mercury, Venus, the moon, Mars. Okay, so lots to do with communication. A lot of things being concealed. Some things you don't know. Okay, let's go ahead and get, guys, the uh, tarot and see what else is going on for you. What is going on for Leo the next 13 days? Let's get two more shuffles. Alright, what's going on for Leo? Okay, Page of Cups. Okay, the Tower. Okay, it's King of Swords, Two of Swords. I kind of like this. Seven of Pentacles, Reverse, Empress. Four of Swords, Reverse. Okay, so a sense of something coming in for you. A lot of changes, though, happening in the next couple of weeks. Things that you kind of are, like, not willing to see clearly. But a lot of growth here, okay, because we did have the Venus card, so Leo and Taurus. We got Scorpio here. <coughs> But something here you're kind of scared to invest into, the Seven of Pentacles reverse. Okay, I do feel like a lot of conversations coming in, maybe a lot of change conversation. Maybe something very abrupt is happening. So let's get more into it. Alright, Page of Cups for Leo. Okay, Five of Swords and the Knight of Cups. Okay, I feel like someone is coming in with an, an offer here with love, but it's somebody you don't really know if you can trust them. Okay, because maybe this person confuses you or they come off as a player or they're kind of doing the same kind of games to all kinds of people. Or someone that you know 
is like known to do that okay someone that you know has other options somebody that they seem like you know they're a great charming person but you kind of know deep down how they are okay but it's like almost like you're kind of being blindsided by something so i would be kind of cautious could be an air sign or a water sign maybe that was like what you didn't see coming with the tower so what does leo not see coming with the tower okay two of swords and the six of wands a lot of success but it's like you're not willing to see like how successful you're gonna be okay the star in reverse maybe you're putting yourself down or feeling like helpless okay feeling like oh i can't achieve this i can't do this but really you don't understand like a lot of changes successfully are coming for you okay king of swords let's see what that's all about okay six of swords five of cups something I feel like you have to have a conversation with somebody to move forward. Very practical, logical here. Something very, you know, serious. Something to have to do with money, okay? Or have an abundance. But you know in order to do that, you have to walk away from something. Something that makes you sad, okay? It's like a sad situation. Something you might be regretful about later on down the road. But it's something you know like you have to do, okay? With the two of swords. So you might be kind of almost like questioning, did I make the right decision, okay? Let's see. All right, with the strength and the page of wands reverse, the fool, it's kind of like you're willing for new opportunities to happen, <coughs> but you're holding back and kind of scared to try. It's like a lot of indecision right now. You're kind of like, there is new beginnings that could happen, but it's like you're almost kind of defeating yourself with the emperor reversed. Five of wands, letting conflict destroy your possibilities. Okay, I feel like you're kind of afraid to learn or travel or have new possibilities because there's a lot of doubt. Like, okay, like, like, trying to like relay like holding on to something or holding back in some way like kind of like okay but what if this fails what if this doesn't work out and it's like you're causing yourself not to like you know progress and learn okay seven of pentacles reverse okay justice and the six of pentacles reverse three of pentacles a sense of wanting to work together on somebody here or work together with somebody but i feel like you're not really putting in your energy there's a sense of somebody wanting things to be fair between you guys but it's almost like you're letting this person kind of do all the work, okay? Or vice versa. Because <coughs> I don't see that there's much growth being happening here. Could have been a relationship that failed. It's like the other person wants to come back and make things right. And you're kind of like, okay, well, why don't you fix the situation? Okay, because I see something about coming back together, something passionately. Okay, after maybe a time of, like, a break from somebody. Okay, now you could end up pregnant or this is a sense of growth. So let's see... Which is weird because I did uh, Leo's, I think it's a weekend reading or some kind of reading I just did for Leo. Either, no, it's her monthly actually. So I did some about like childbirth or something. It was weird. Yeah, because that was the one that really freaked me out. Them and Scorpio, theirs were really weird. So Empress here. Okay, Ace of Swords and the Three of Swords. Seven of Cups here. So there's something here that is going to be very truthful coming out. Okay, that's going to be very hurtful. Something to do with, like, growth that isn't going to happen or something. Not even, like, the growth. It's, like, trying to move on from something in order of heartbreak. Some kind of news you're expecting. Which is crazy because, like, yeah, when I did Leo's monthly, that was, like, a really dark reading, okay? And it's almost to the point where I almost cried. I'm just, like, that is, like, so upsetting. So, I really hope that isn't the case. What, babe? I don't know the first word, but... How do you spell that? T-O-G-O? <coughs> okay, Virgo. 5315, Virgo. Alright, my V8 first. V for Virgo, V for V8. Okay, let's go ahead see where you guys are going to be at. The 13th to the... Not 13th. The 17th to the 30th. Happiness. Okay, so you guys are going to be having a lot of happiness or a lot of happy thoughts. Okay. But you guys are going to be kind of, like, off balance because there's loneliness, too. And failure in the reverse. Trying to, like... It's like there's going to be days, I feel like, where you're going to be very happy. and then It's kind of like yin-yang. There's going to be days where you're very happy and there's days where you're very lonely. Days where you feel like you're not... You know, things aren't failed and there's days where things are off balance. Okay? And then feeling impatient. So, let's go ahead and get more, like, where your energy is going to be at. The sea salt energy. What, baby? Okay, we have quite a few here. Go? So, Lighthouse. When the seas are rough, search for light. Like I said, I had happiness on, and loneliness here. Huh? How do you spell? Toe. Toe? T-O-E. 
Okay, Birds of Paradise. Embark a new adventure. And then, yeah, Sandcastle, it's only temporary. So this is what I'm seeing about the loneliness card that came out. It's like Sandcastle, it's only temporary. So whatever loneliness you're having, that's only temporary. Okay, it's like I feel like the most of the weeks are going to be very happy. Okay, sunken ship. Past does not have to define your future. Cancer had that too, so you guys could be dealing with a cancer. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get another piece of incense So this just went out. I'm going to do lavender for you guys. Yeah, you smell it, babe. You maybe you like it. I like it. All right. Let me go ahead and get this lit. My lighter's going out, so that's fun. Hold on, guys. Sorry. <sighs> Press one more time. Which, okay. There we go. The slider worked. The other one's going out. One second, guys. This wasn't part of the reading, I promise. Okay. Okay, so, anyways. Got my lavender here. Things are getting better. Let's get a moonology for Virgo. So, things are only temporary. Like, loneliness is only temporary is what I'm seeing. Bring love to the situation, new moon in Aquarius. Okay, luck is on your side, new moon in Sagittarius. Could be with an Aquarius or a Sagittarius, just the fact luck is on your side, and you need to bring love into the situation. Whatever the situation is, bring it with, like, happiness and love, okay? Let's see. Okay, so we have, okay, memories of love in the reverse, power in the reverse, wisdom so it's like you're learning from something in your past here something you're wanting to avoid something you're not wanting to, put the, to hold on to anymore or hold back from okay it's like you're wanting to learn here you know the leo or a taurus but there's a sense of <coughs> moving on feeling like you have the wisdom suffering in silence in the reverse yeah moving on moving past something not being okay i feel like you're moving past something that you felt like wasn't really working out Let's get a millennial card for Virgo. Flatlining. So something that is dying off. Conversation. Something that you're losing interest in, okay? We also have texture. Think carefully before responding. So don't say things roll, like, quickly without, like, thinking what you're saying. That's what I'm saying, okay? With mood, okay? So something that's relatable, understanding. Maybe you're going to start relating to other people more the last couple weeks, okay? You're going to be more relatable to other people, Maybe other situations, like you're going through a breakup and you're helping other people through that. Okay, so let's get love advice. This could be the one of the reverse. Make the effort in children. <coughs> Something about, like, not... Feel like you haven't found your right person yet. Like, this one is the one in reverse. Okay, trust in the reverse. Okay, make the effort. Maybe about your children. Make the effort for your children. Work harder. Okay, be, like, more responsible for them. Let's see what planets or signs could be, you know, in your energy the next couple of weeks, Virgo. Ooh, Sagittarius came out. Okay. Which we have the luck is on your side in Sagittarius, too. So, they could be of, like, influence in your life here. Okay, we also have Capricorn. Okay, we got Pisces, Scorpio, water. So, definitely some water, some fire, and earth. We also got moon, so Cancer, too. And Gemini after that. Okay, so you can be affected by like water signs strongly, fire, and the little earth, okay? Let's get to the tarot and see what's happening. Okay. Let's see what's going on the next 13 days for Virgo. back in in a second. I'm just going to leave them. Alright, one more shuffle. Let's see what's going on for Virgo the next 13 days. Okay, the Wheel of Fortune, Queen of Cups reverse, Five of Cups reverse, Lovers reverse, Knight of Cups reverse, Five of Wands overall, Knight of Swords. Something quick coming in, quick communication about something here. Okay, I feel like luck is on your side, but there's a disconnected, you know, relationship, something you're not really wanting to come back around, something you're kind of cut off from or emotionally detached from, okay, something you're kind of already learned from or you're kind of, like, done with not worrying about. Okay, I don't know why I'm getting the term don't cry over spilled milk, I don't know. 
So maybe there's something going on. Maybe you guys have children and they're spilling milk. Who knows? Um, let's get one more. But something to hear about like conflict with other people. It's like luck is on your side, but other people are jealous or something. So let's get the Wheel of Fortune for Virgo. Okay, the Star and the Eight of Wands reverse. So I feel like something good is happening for you. Something you've been manifesting. Something that you've been at a distance from. Something you really had to work hard for and fight for is coming to you. Could be an Aquarius or something you just really dreamed about. Okay, so that's good. Good way to start the reading. Okay, then we got the Queen of Cups reverse. Something you're not willing to be open to. Six of Wands reverse in the moon. Something you're concealing. I feel like you're concealing your feelings about something here. Something that's just, you know, like in the back of your mind, it's not going to work out. Okay, it could be a relationship because we got the Two of Cups here. So something, a cancer or a water sign. Somebody that you're kind of concealing your feelings about because you feel like you don't want your pride to let you down or you're scared, like, not feeling good enough deep inside to tell somebody how you feel. Okay. So, let's get the Five of Cups reversed. Okay, Seven of Pentacles, Seven of Cups. Okay, so... It's like you're wanting to invest into something and have something start, but you're not really sure where. Okay, it's like you feel like you've learned from something, okay? You feel like you're not upset about a situation anymore, but you're just like trying to start from within, but it's like you're not really sure how. Maybe there's a lot of toxic things going on in your life and something you're holding back from with the strength, holding back somewhere from like something starting because of doubt or insecurity. It could be a Capricorn or a Leo you're dealing with here. Okay, Lovers Reverse. So Gemini Energy, why is the Lovers Reverse? Okay, Nine of Pentacles reverse, Eight of Swords reverse, Three of Pentacles. It's almost like letting something go that you kind of were hoping for. Okay, like you're kind of deep down maybe hoping things work again with somebody that you guys have, you know, justice, you have communication, but there's a sense of something just not working out the way you want it to and just wanting to kind of let ties go. Okay, kind of in a connection maybe, a very strong connection with somebody here. Not wanting to be trapped and upset about something not happening the way you want it, okay? <coughs> Knight of Cups reverse. Page of Pentacles reverse and the Nine of Swords reverse. I feel like there's something here that you really wanted to happen. So we have the Page of Wands reverse and for reverse as well. Something you really wanted to take off, maybe emotionally or, you know, some love interest, okay? But you feel like the person never offered you enough or offered you anything, okay? And it really upset you because it's like it's getting you kind of where you're upset. And like even this could be happening, like I said, soon. You're feeling like the person's just never going to offer you anything. They're playing games. Maybe they just don't really feel the same way about you like you do with them. Okay, I feel like there's a lot of, like, fighting or competition or jealousy with the Five of Wands. Let's see. Okay, yeah, Ten of Swords and Page of Cups. Death. The Tower. Scorpio energy here. Maybe you feel like, and then we have the Seven of Swords. Maybe you feel like somebody lied to you. And somebody's going to, like, offer... Or they're being very immature with their love, okay? Maybe you really were fighting hard for somebody. And it's hurting you because you feel like they're not really giving you enough. Something about not getting, like, enough from somebody. Not feeling like you're getting enough or you're not enough. Okay? Feeling like there's just a lot of pain that comes with a connection or a person. That you, or something you really wanted. It's like you had to fight really hard for it. For what? You know, for this person to not give you what you wanted. You know? Okay, let's go ahead and do Libra. Okay, Libra, what's going on with you guys? The next 13 days. What's going on with Libra the next 13 days? Worry in the reverse. Okay, with relationships in the reverse. So I'm just kind of just like not worried about relationships anymore. Okay, well, Jim and I had that too. So I don't know if that's like an air sign thing or what, but Jim and I, I'm pretty sure, had that card or those cards together. We got the rainbow card. A miracle or epiphany is in the forecast. Sea glass. Your future is being rewritten. Deep healing, okay? Murky water. Self-reflection. Yeah, this is all about wanting to redo, okay? Not being worried about relationships or friendships that failed in the past. Wanting an awakening or new things to happen or take off. Okay, maybe even, like, getting rid of the friends that you have now. Or seeing, like, how are the people you're hanging out with? How are they affecting your life? Okay, maybe doing, like, a... Uh, Reevaluation of yourself. Kind of seeing like, okay, the people I hang out with or I'm around, how is this affecting my life? You know? Almost like wanting to start over. Like realizing you're not in a good place or something. Luck is on your side. New moon in Sagittarius. Okay, nothing is set in stone. 
okay work through your fears okay scorpio here scorpio and sagittarius something about like wanting like new luck okay new things to happen but in order for that to happen you have to kind of like kind of see like the people that you bring into your life how they are causing you not to have growth or have a transformation okay okay we have the waiting game in the reverse so it's like not wait, being almost impatient okay love begins triumphant success in the reverse <coughs> being impatient i feel like there is love coming into your life but it's after a time of being patient okay solitude a time of being by yourself too is what i'm seeing kind of studying yourself a little bit going deep down maybe even like things you didn't want to believe in yourself you're starting to kind of wonder or see kind of like how things are affecting your life okay and then we have the temptation in the reverse not wanting things to be you know tempted to you anymore not wanting to be obsessed with something anymore so let's get the millennial see what's going on what other situations are happening for libra something low-key so something like you're trying not to announce the next 13 days okay some kind of emotional loss or feeling sad here okay but also trying to feel good about yourself as well okay breadcrumbing you could feel like someone is like breadcrumbing you or you're not being it's almost like it's happening to you like you have proof with the receipt card something about somebody like being lo like treating you like you're low-key and someone they're not talking about and it's like, you know, you're a savage, but you feel like someone's breadcrumbing you. And you have proof of it. You have proof that someone's breadcrumbing you, playing games and hurting you. Is what I'm seeing. Like, you know, you're a savage, okay? Like that song by, like, Megan the Stallion or whatever. I'm a savage. I forget how it goes. Like, feisty. Taste, or I don't even know how the song goes. But that's, like, you. Nasty. Whatever. But you know that's you. And it's like, why is someone treating me like this? Why is someone treating me like I'm less than average, you know? Or less than better or whatever. Okay, let's see. Some relationships bougie savage okay so healing family issues and free yourself let's get one more so trying to like heal yourself or your family okay we have attraction true love in the reverse keep an open mind in the reverse let go of control issues in the reverse uh, having a hard time of having <coughs> any positivity here feeling like your true love's not gonna happen no one's gonna be attracted to you kind of having like a negative mindset is what i'm seeing okay Let's see what signs or elements or uh, ju uh, planets could be affecting you. Okay, so we have Virgo, Cancer. Okay, so we have Cancer, we got Aries, we got Taurus, and Virgo. Okay, on the bottom we got Venus. Okay, which Venus is ruled by Libra and Taurus. Okay, so like yourself and Taurus. We also got Aries here, so like passion. We got Cancer, the moon. A lot of things being concealed. A lot of communication maybe being the lack of the... Uh, Virgo, that's like Mercury. So a lot of maybe communications like not being, you know, honest here. A lot of, you know, denial and a lot of not truthful communication. Okay, let's go ahead and get into the tarot and see more of what is happening. I'm not trying to get you guys upset or anything, but this is kind of like a weird reading. It's almost like kind of feel like you don't deserve, I don't know. Let's go ahead and see. Two more shuffles for Libra. cups reverse nine of pentacles nine of swords the moon there's the moon card again okay like i said the moon <coughs> five of cups reverse and the ace of cups reverse judgment overall so a sense of like reconciliation or kind of coming to like what is like meant to happen in my life you know king of cups reverse a sense of not being emotionally open or not wanting to be like open to love or something here so i feel like there's a lot of things being kept on the down low like i said a lot of worries you're having um, a lot of, like, unfulfillment or, like, not enough love with something here. Okay, maybe you're focusing on your independence of the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, so I got Cancer here strongly. I got Water. I got Earth. Air. Okay. So let's get the King of Cups reverse. Okay, High Priestess reverse and the Ace of Cups. So it's like you're wanting new love to come into your life, but it's like you're not trusting your intuition. Okay, it could be a Pisces you're dealing with. You feel like there's a lot of things coming revealed about love that you want in your life. But it's like you're wondering whether or not you're open to it. With the Six of Swords reverse, if you've walked away from toxic things in your life, okay, with the devil. If you've moved on from toxicity in your life. Alright, Nine of Pentacles. Sense of wanting to focus on independence here. Okay, with the world and the King of Swords. A lot of new cycles approaching. Maybe because of being single or independent. Okay, the Three of Wands reverse. Not waiting for your emotional happiness. 
Okay, Nine of Cups, Three of Wands, Reverse. Not waiting around for happiness to find you. You're finding it. Okay? With the Moon Reverse. A lot of things coming clear. Alright, Nine of Swords. Why are you guys, like, upset, though? Why are you guys, like, losing sleep and anxious? Tower Reverse. Okay, Death Reverse. The situation you didn't want to end, you're kind of... <coughs> um, it could be a Scorpio, definitely. You're dealing with or a Taurus here. I have the hair front reverse. Maybe a commitment or something you didn't want to end. You're kind of wondering whether or not, like, what you should do to avoid the ending of it. You're trying to avoid some ending to something. And you're having a lot of thoughts about something you don't want to go to completion with. Okay? The moon. So what is something that you don't know about? Okay, two of pentacles reverse. Five of cups reverse. Somebody's not, like, feeling bad that they dropped you, okay? Or, so yeah, someone's not really... There's, like, a lot of injustice with somebody, okay? And it's like somebody, like, you're not knowing that somebody's kind of glad that something's over. Or someone's glad that they're not dealing with something else. Okay, they're moved on from something else. Or moved on from this. Someone's moved on from something here. Five of Cups reverse. And I feel like you are too, though. So let's see. The Empress and the Nine of Swords reverse. There's a situation you're done with that you're, like, growing yourself and you're not stressing anymore. It's like you're growing yourself. You're not really coming towards this anymore. Yeah, the Three of Wands reverse, Page of Cups reverse. A situation you're just kind of removed on from. You're just kind of like, I'm not worried about this anymore. I'm focusing on my own self-love here. Or my own self or other people. <coughs> Ooh. Ace of Cups reverse. But there's some kind of like not enough love in something here. Okay, the sun in reverse and the hangman. Things are really stuck here currently. Or the next 13 days, there's going to be a lot of stuck energy. A Leo or a Pisces here. Okay, and it's like you want to have like love. But you're kind of this place to like, how do I find it? How do I go about finding it? Okay. Because maybe you're not communicating with people. Because I got the page of swords reverse. So maybe there's not much communication from somebody. Okay, there's a lot of unhappiness, a lot of stuck energy. You're not sure where you belong with somebody. Okay, somebody you wanted to love maybe, but you feel like the love's not there. Okay. Alright, let's go and do Scorpio. Scorpio at... The, wow. We're over an hour already. 11.50. Okay. Alright, Scorpio. What's going on in the next 13 days? For Scorpio, the next 13 days? Okay, happiness. I like that because after the reading I did for you guys, I was like, crap, what's going on? Happiness. Success. Wow. Fear in the reverse. Things you're not fearing. So that's great. Good energy. Let's keep it. Let's see where you guys are at, you know, where else you guys are at this last 13 days. Sunken ship. Okay, I don't like that. But your past does not have to define your future. A lot of people have been getting that. Not letting your past hold you back. Okay, the starfish. Trust your instincts. Okay? As well as wisdom is found in truth. The pearl. Okay, finding wisdom in places. Alright, let's get a moonology. <coughs> Get a moonology for Scorpio. Okay, time for healing. Okay, yeah. Time for healing as well as show the world the real you. Full moon in Aquarius. Okay, the full moon in Aquarius, that's like in a couple of... Eh, that's like in... I'm trying to think. So that would be probably like next year, like next January. So just a time for healing is what's going on. But there might be more of a transition showing the real you beginning of next year. So the next year in like January, I think we're supposed to have a full moon in Aquarius. Alright, so let's get more into it. Something about like a progress. Solar plexus chakra, okay, as well as transformation in the reverse, emotional withdrawal in the reverse, sacrifice. A lot of things you're sacrificing, maybe even yourself from transformation, is like you need to heal, but you're, you know, something you are kind of emotionally withdrawing from. Or not wanting to anymore. And you're having to make sacrifices on your happiness. Okay, trapped in fear. It's like you're kind of at emotional loss. But you're kind of like trying to move on. But it's also like you're stuck about something. Okay. Let's go ahead and get the millennial. So we have um, orbiting. So something about a love um, interest. Okay, staying connected. Stalking a crush. Might be into somebody a lot the next 13 days. Okay, we also got... Trying to, like, focus on your, like, physical appearance, okay? Looking good, hard work. And then we also have woke. So being socially and politically awake, okay? 
realizing, being, like, self-aware of things happening, and, like, in today's, you know, life, like, what's going on in the news, stuff like that, social media, maybe being an influencer as well, or being, like, we are talking with a lot of knowledge to other people, okay? I feel like maybe you're going to, like, you know, like, uh, movements and stuff, or, like, you know, let's see what we got going on. So, we got pay attention to red flag, passion, okay? As well as getting to know each other. Somebody new here that you have passion for, but you have to watch out that they're being honest, okay? Love yourself first in the reverse. <coughs> really wanting to love this person, okay? Maybe after time of loving yourself, it's like you're ready to love again. And we'll see what planets or signs can be affecting you at this time or this next 13 days. Okay, so we have Jupiter. So that's Sagittarius or Pisces. Okay, we got Venus. So that's uh, Taurus and Libra. I keep getting that a lot. Or or to do with love, too, in general. Okay, so being like, with Jupiter, that's about like expansing, okay? Like being more expansive. Okay, and then Venus is about like love and passion. Being more expansive with your love. Okay? I also got Leo here and then Mars. Okay, which Mars is about passion. So passion, love, Having happiness with the sun here. So we got the sun, we got happiness, got Leo. Okay, so a lot of happiness coming in, a lot of expansion in your life. Letting love grow is what I'm seeing. Okay, so let's go ahead and get to the tarot, guys, and see what else is happening. Okay, let's get into the tarot for Scorpio, see what's happening in the next 13 days. What's going on for Scorpio the next 13 days? 17th to the 30th. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Woo. I feel like I don't remember if I counted to three or not. So, <coughs> I'll just do that last shuffle. All right. Five of Swords reverse. Okay, Ace of Wands reverse. Seven of Swords reverse. Page of Cups, Five of Pentacles, hey man, Two of Cups overall. <coughs> so a soulmate connection with somebody. Okay, but you're stuck. Could be dealing with the Pisces here. A feeling of being like left out or being kind of like abandoned by somebody. Realizing the truth though about something, about how somebody's playing conflict games, playing mind games with you or something. Seven of Swords reverse. So it's kind of like not like wanting to fight for something anymore or fight for yourself kind of like you're over it okay you're exhausted ace of wands reversed here page of cups oh there is love coming in almost hold on five of swords reversed two of swords and the knight of wands not in, not wanting to see where something is going okay not being like something very quick okay it's like you're not you're still having a hard time processing something here Something, I mean, I feel like it is something very honest, and then very, you know, you kind of know how the situation is, but you're kind of having a hard time processing it or seeing how it has potential. The Five of Cups reversed. Could have been something you kind of see, like, how it is, okay? You already learned about something kind of like a similar situation. Alright, Ace of Wands reversed. Let's see what you're lacking passion in. Okay, so the Nine of Wands and the Five of Pentacles of opening up to somebody. Okay, you're opening up to the point of, like, not feeling the same way, so you're maybe walking away from some body or something, okay? Out of, like, not being into it anymore. Queen of Swords reverse, kind of cutting somebody off, not wanting to speak to somebody anymore. Okay, you're, but you're afraid to say something to them. Alright, Seven of Swords reverse. Four of Pentacles reverse, Nine of Cups. So letting something go to have your own fulfillment and your own happiness. Okay, maybe you feel like you're being deceived, and there's a lot of secrets this person kept from you. So a situation of somebody not being completely honest with you, and it's like you're letting go of this person or not wanting to focus on it. Kind of focusing on yourself deep down where you are, emotionally. There could be some kind of love offer coming in, though, because I have the Page of Cups. King of Pentacles reverse, Six of Wands reverse. But I don't know if I would trust it, because it's almost like it's really delayed, like it's not going anywhere. The Three of Swords could end up being, like, a past person trying to come back around, and you're wondering whether or not, like, if the apology is, like, it could be as an apology coming in, you don't really know if it's sympathetic or not, if it's actually sincere, or if it's just something they're kind of doing to pass the time, okay? Five of Pentacles, you could just end up ignoring this person. Six of Swords reverse, okay, no, but never mind. 
Ten of Wands reverse. A sense of wanting to let go of the hard work, put it into something. But you're having a hard time walking away or wanting to leave a situation. <coughs> Two of Wands reverse, but you know how it's going to go. Okay, and it's like you're not stuck anymore. You realize the direction. But it's like you're kind of like no wanting to walk away from something or be left out. But you don't want it to be a lot of work either. <coughs> Alright, let's put the hanged man here. A lot of stuck energy. Seven of Swords, Nine of Cups. Okay, Seven of Pentacles. Somebody maybe put a lot of time or work into a lot of... Somebody put invested in time into. Okay, but you're kind of feeling like you're deceived by this person. You're not really sure if this person actually is offering you something genuine. Or if this is just something kind of like just, you know, brush off the shoulder, kind of casual. You don't really know if it's something like the person's being sincere. Something about not really sure if you can trust this person or somebody here this the end of this month. or somebody that might be coming off kind of fishy. Okay, which is funny. We got the Pisces card. So somebody that could be very, you know, fishy or you're not sure if you could trust them in some way. Like they're almost kind of like too good to be true. Okay. Let's do Sag. Okay. At 125. Sagittarius. Let me finish my V8. Okay. Sagittarius. Where are we at the next 13 days? Sagittarius, where are we at the next 13 days? Okay, so perseverance. Knowing you can put, you know, yourself to whatever you can do, okay? Telling you, like, you can put your mind to wherever you want to be. Okay, adversity. Accepting challenges, but guilt. Feeling some kind of guilt. Out of pride, though. Okay? Something you feel guilty about, but you're also willing to accept changes or challenges in your life. So that's looking good. Let's see... Okay, what's going on with these oracle cards where you guys are in the next 13 days? Sag. Oops. Let's see where we're at. Okay. Sag, I don't really like this. This is tsunami. Now's the time to confront your stressors. What are you avoiding? So there's something that you're like putting your mind to like avoiding is what I'm seeing. Okay, or you're telling yourself to avoid something. Maybe some communication with somebody or something you don't want to face head on. <coughs> Let's see, moonology. Okay, fiery climax approaches. Okay, full moon in Aries. Okay, the answers you need are coming. Full moon in Gemini. Something about, like, completion about something here. So answers you need, something very fiery. It's okay, somebody might not be, like, maybe you're trying to do an apology or something. Someone's not really approaching you the way you thought they were going to. <coughs> or you're afraid, you're avoiding things, you're afraid like something's going to blow up. Some conversation with someone's going to blow up to be worse than what it's supposed to be. Hold your vision. Okay, don't set yourself short, okay? So who knows? Let's get more into it and see. But there's something that's like, you need answers to something, but it's like you're avoiding, like the, it's almost like you're avoiding like confrontation with somebody or something. Okay, so we have something you're moving on from here. Suffering and silence in the reverse, and then we have patience in the reverse. Oh, we have another one under that. Obstacles and challenges in the reverse. So now, so it's like obstacles and challenges are going to be over soon is what I'm saying. You're not going to be suffering anymore. It's going to be moving forward, but there's going to be a sense of impatient energy. Okay, with fertility in the reverse. Something not growing, but something you're not willing to talk about either. The third chakra reversed. Okay, something about like something not growing or moving forward, but you're not wanting to talk about it. Something about not wanting to talk about something. Like, you're wanting to just ignore something and walk on and move away. Or move on from something. Like, you're wanting to move forward and say, okay, I don't care. Just dig it up. You know, just, like, bury it in the sand, bury it in the grass, and just walk away. Okay, you just want to bury something, you know, dig a little hole, throw it in there, and just walk away and throw the dirt on it. And be like, ah, that was it. Okay, so something, like, something like you're resisting change. Or somebody's like, somebody you're out of touch from, somebody you're out of touch, contact with. Okay, staycation, maybe you're going to be spending time at home or doing things for fun, for pleasure. Okay, needing answers, receipts, not believing something, being doubtful. Someone you're doubting, okay? Could be somebody that you're dating or wanting to date, you're kind of like not sure how they feel about you or they're not sure how you feel about them. Something about someone doubting something, okay? Let's see, love advice. What's going on with Sagittarius love advice? Okay, so give your relationship a chance in the reverse wedding. And this one flipped. Deception in the reverse and then keep an open mind in the reverse. Okay. 
So there could be a high level of commitment here. And it's like you trust it. 